Greetings and welcome! This time we're gonna have a look at an arcade game called Kangaroo, released in 1982 in North America by Atari. And what is interesting about this arcade game is that it's one of the few Atari released games that's not actually been developed by them. And it was actually initially published by a Japanese company called Sun Electronics. And Atari just wanted to get hold of a crazy climber Donkey Kong-like game to make some sweet, sweet money. So they actually bought the license to uh, distribute this game in North America. And I think Sun Electronics uh, published the game in Japan and the game was developed by a company called Gifu. Or maybe they just did the hardware design. I'm not entirely sure who did what here. But there's at least two Japanese companies involved in the release of the uh, initial arcade game in Japan. And according to ArcadeBlogger.com, the uh, engineers and developers over at Atari Arcade Division wasn't too happy when this game surfaced in spring 1982 over at Atari. They felt they were stealing time and resources from their games, and they weren't particularly impressed with the game either. Apparently it suffers from some technical issues and uh, yeah, some people don't like the gameplay either. But in the end it turned out to be a pretty big success for Atari. More than 9,800 cabinets were produced and sold. And I will put a link in the description to this article if you want to check it out. It was an interesting read, so uh, do that. And this is an arcade game that I've never really played before. I don't ever remember seeing it back in the day. It's uh, maybe a little bit too early of a game for that. And it's of course a bit of a Donkey Kong clone and, you know, Crazy Climber clone. You're playing a kangaroo that needs to save Baby Roo that's been kidnapped by a big ape, I think, or something along those lines, because the enemies had to be apes, monkeys, right? <laughs> Simians. All right, let's hit the machine with some coins and let's get started. And here we have three kangaroo mums collecting their kids from daycare and I'm the one at the top. The clumsy one that just falls off the tree. <laughs> Not sure why I can't hang on to that tree. I mean, after all, kangaroos do climb trees quite often, right? So we need to save Baby Roo up there. I can uh, jump by pressing up on the control stick, which is a little bit annoying. And uh, oh god, and the monkeys here, because of course we have to have evil monkeys. The enemies has to be a monkey because yeah they want to be making some sweet money of the uh, Donkey Kong and and crazy climber bandwagon hey, come on get up oh god that was tight yeah and we can also use a boxing glove of course because that's the natural weapon of uh, kangaroos in the wild let's go save no don't touch me you rotten piece of apple fruit yeah that wasn't too bad. Second screen and uh, the game's got this kind of weird like effect. Like every other pixel row, or pixel line is missing. Can you see that? That's not an effect that I'm, they've been adding in posts or anything like that. It's just like that in the game. It's like the game is running on underpowered hardware and they couldn't afford to redraw, oh balls redraw every scan line of the background and the sprites are also quite glitchy and flickery and the masking looks honestly quite often a bit trash <laughs> so yeah the game isn't amazingly technically impressive that's for sure but there's quite a few people that uh, quite like it I'm not sure if I'm one of them though game over so I think the uh, the arcade fans were quite divided at the time. Some of them really liked this game, other just thought it was utter, utter pants. And technically, it's certainly not that impressive. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I probably have played this back in the day because I played anything. If it was an arcade machine and I could get to it, I would play it. But. It's certainly not as fun as Donkey Kong, even though that game drove me freaking bonkers. Uh, come on, monkey, you, you want to throw an apple, right? Yeah, that's right. And now I'm going to punch you in the face, and everything's going to be great. And there's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. Forgot about the... The bell actually generates more fruit, because... 
Yeah, we want that so we can get points. Oh yeah, the kangaroo is so slow. It is a little bit annoying. I wouldn't have minded to be a little bit faster. Come on, come over here, Sunny Jim. Or Brew, or whatever your name is. And the Vishals, I mean... They're not amazing, are they? They're a little bit weak sauce. But it's 1982, and didn't I punch that monkey? Yeah, there's some annoyances as well with the gameplay, where, you know, there's some certain amount of lack of precision, should I say? In the jumping and the... and the punching. Um... Mm, yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag. This, I would say. I'd rather play Donkey Kong, even though that game is, to me, pretty damn difficult. Okay, there's a big... What the hell? What do you... And this is also super annoying. If you fall that tiny amount, that from that tiny height, you die. Why? Jesus, what am I? Made out of glass or something? <laughs> Yeah, I don't care about the fruit. I, I don't want any more apples. I just want to get the hell out of here with my boy hair. Punch that monkey. Yeah, that's not that satisfying, to be honest. But hey, I shouldn't diss the game too much, right? See if we can get somewhere. Maybe get to the next screen, because it's not super duper difficult, which I am fine with. Okay, hello there, mister big evil monkey, or the big ape. Son of Donkey Kong. All right. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Round three. And okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. Some more monkeys, for sure these. Oh God, don't. Don't! Oh, how am I supposed? Mm, yeah, I suppose I have to learn that, right? Can I get up? Oh, you. I was watching the other monkeys. There's so many monkeys to watch. Can I punch these fellas in the face here? Yeah, I suppose. Maybe I need to get rid of them. Interesting. Okay, no, don't. Oh, and that, that's so annoying how they wait when they're about to throw. They wait a bit. Sometimes it feels like they wait a little bit longer and I jumped way too soon there. That's, that's a bit poo. I'm a little bit surprised that the game uses up on the stick to jump. It's uh, not that common, I think, for arcade games. Yeah, okay, let's get out of here, son. Oh, it looks like I'm supposed to be able to land there, but no, no, no. And then I have to start from the bottom. Yeah, well, this is an arcade game, of course. Well, there is certainly um, a certain amount of wonkiness attached to this game, I must admit. I don't think I would have been... Really? Oh yeah, and that, that kind of bounciness of the fruit is also a little bit annoying and wonky. This is not shaping up to become a new favorite of mine for sure. It's not terrible and, and again, had I played this back in in the 80s, depending on when, of course, I would probably have been Okay with it. Let's see if we can punch the big ugly ape over here. I think we can do that. Unless... Oh, now he shows up over there. Okay. You filthy monkey. Never mind then. Let's just go to the uh, stage three. So I need to tear down this uh, monkey tower. That should be doable, right? Let's punch these fellas in the face. We need to watch out for the falling fruit. And the never-ending supply of monkeys. Didn't I punch you? Come on, come over here. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, the, the other monkey is here. The evil one with the long freaking arms. Let's get up here. Maybe. No, no, no. Oh, really? And it's really annoying because you can't really see the monkeys uh, on the sides because of this... Uh, it's interlace effect, the scanline effect, I should say. Ah, it's not really an effect. I think it's a limitation, really, with the hardware that they can't draw every line, maybe, or something like that. I don't really know. If anyone does know, please let me know. Yeah, I can see why the um, engineers and developers over at Atari wasn't terribly impressed with this. I gotcha. 
with this game. Oh, he's on the other side. Interesting. Do I want to mess with him? I don't think so. Just get out of here. Please, climb the silly ladder. Okay, come here. Stinky Simeon. Oh, and generally speaking, the control feels really slow and stiff as well. It's really rather frustrating and annoying. Let's punch some of these filthy monkeys. See if we can get rid of some of the ah oh, these um building what what are we supposed to call them? Oh no! Oh yeah, there's so much happening, so much going on, and then there's the big fat ape is is showing up as well. I don't know, can I do something to make life easier? No, don't! Oh, what am I supposed to do that? He's so... Oh, sorry. She is so slow at climbing the ladder. <laughs> I can't get out of the way. Yeah, not terribly impressive, this. Rather disappointed, I must admit. Also, the sound effects are slowly melting my, my soul here. They really aren't that great. <laughs> and the music. It's quite annoying. But again, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not the worst arcade game out there, I don't think. Uh, let's see if we can punch this fellow again. Unless, of course, he decides to show up over there. Do I want to go over there? No, I don't. And... Mm, okay. Okay. It's getting a little bit annoying right now. <laughs> Take that. No! Still can't remember that I can't reach them when they are furthest to the right there on the tree. Oh man, I didn't see that apple. I really didn't. Yeah, I think I've had enough of the arcade version actually. It's not that much fun. Bit of a disappointment, but yeah, what did I expect? It's from 1982. But before we go, let's have a look at the home conversions, which I think were only released for the Atari consoles as far as I know anyway. The Atari 2600 version is pretty decent as far as conversions go. It's also faster than the arcade version, which really is a good thing and makes the game a bit more playable. It has three of the four stages from the arcade and they all look pretty barren compared to the original. Animation is decent for a 2600 game and the sound effects are almost a bit less annoying than the original. But given the limited playability of the arcade and the fact that the 2600 version really doesn't improve upon it significantly, this game isn't really among the better 2600 titles in my opinion. The Atari 5200 version plays a bit slower than the 2600 version, but it's still a bit faster than the original. Difficulty-wise, it seems to be slightly harder than the arcade version, but there is a difficulty setting. The visuals are, of course, an improvement over the 2600 version, but they still look a bit limited. Sound effects are quite warm and sound okay and don't really get too annoying. It also has all of the four stages from the arcade, so if you liked the original, you would probably have been pretty happy with this one. The Atari 8-bit computer version is pretty much exactly the same as the 5200 version. I suspect that the 5200 version was more or less a straight port from the computer version.